<laughs> Hi! <laughs> Welcome to Breathe View. This is going to be for the Earth Signs. And I do have some pre channeled messages for you guys. Alright, let's see. The first one Be open to love. Don't let the past hold you back from this. I feel like there's new love for some of you guys coming in. And what I'm pretty much getting is like, don't let the past hold you back. Allow yourself to feel and, you know, and be loved, okay? All right, let's get started. All right. Thank you, God, for those beautiful pre-channeled messages. Can you please help me to get some beautiful, beautiful messages for this, oh, sorry, <laughs> for the beautiful earth signs tonight? Yeah. Trying to end out the month very strong, especially with everything going on. Just trying to keep my energy grounded, you know, and trying to put out as many videos as possible this month. Um, I think I put out like maybe 16 videos this month, so which is a eh, it's not that bad, it's not that bad, but I like to do more. But I will definitely be um recording a lot of videos, especially for next month. So, next month is going to be. I'm not love readings anymore. I'm going to be doing finance. I'm also going to be doing like my free views, which is just all intuitive readings. Um, and then also the seven chakras to help people align themselves. Um, so those are going to be the beautiful things that I'm going to be doing for next month's um, reading. So definitely check those out as well. All right. And if you guys didn't check them out already, please do check out your individual earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorns. All right. Let's get started. All right. God, please help me by giving me four beautiful cards to start. All right, that's one. And these? Okay, yes. <laughs> All right. Yes, it is. <laughs> the first one that popped up for you guys. Yeah, oh, the rain purification. Like it. The fog revealed. Something being hidden is going to be revealed to you. Ooh. Winter solstice reflection. Green Man Synergy. You know what's funny? Because literally water signs got the synergy as well. So maybe a lot of you guys need to also balance yourselves out. And then I have Forest Breath. Ooh. And Wind Activation. Ooh. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so right off bat, I feel like a lot of you guys need to do some self-work right now. You need to reflect on yourself. Take a breath. Take a moment to yourself during this time of isolation for some of, um, of you who are in isolation. Um, you know, taking that time to purify yourself as well. I feel like some of you guys need to do some yoga, kind of like purification bath as well for some. Um, if you guys are interested, definitely do some like Himalayan pink salt. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's life changing in, in the spiritual bath. I'm just saying. Okay, check it out. <laughs> check it out. Um, but there's definitely other spiritual baths as well. Um, like baking soda, I know you can use. And like other household products as well. Um, you can just check out Google, honestly. You can find a lot of stuff on there. Alright, so another thing. Um, what I'm getting. Sorry, I had to do a side note. Um, but another thing I'm getting is like a lot of you guys are going to find ways to balance yourself out as well. I feel like there's a lot of things that have been hidden from you. But once you do like a reflection or kind of go within just a meditation as well and listen I'm hearing listen to your higher voice as well it's going to be very helpful moving forward alrighty well thank you God for those beautiful messages that have come through these beautiful earth signs all right and now as I split the deck I see the sixth chakra Archangel Metatron which is like about um I believe it's like relationships violence and addictions um or mainly the key issues with that one um and then the George spirit on the other side so again, maybe some of you guys are also doing like some spiritual stuff as well, or some spiritual work to kind of ground yourself or kind of really work on, you know, that inner stuff that you need to work on, especially through everything that's going on. All right, let's see. You're going to also see the strength card. So a lot of you guys are being strong throughout this time. That's beautiful. All right, that is beautiful. All right, perfect. All right, let's get started. Please help me to get some clarification for this beautiful earth signs. Wow. Jesus. All right. All right. Thank you. Let's get started. So 
firstly, I have the goddess of the moon. I feel like a lot of magic is happening at night. For some of you guys, you'd be like myself, a night owl. You work better at night. Um, and that's what I, that's all I'm kind of getting with that one for right now. We'll get back into it. Then the fourth chakra. Ooh, the heart chakra. Archangel Raphael. Ooh. Then we have the cornucopia card. I love it. Okay. Okay. I'll put the cornucopia card down here. Actually, I'm going to put this one right here in the middle. Since this is about love and to not love. There, it's beautiful. Okay. 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 So, yeah. So, I'm going to put them here in this lovely placement. Just like that. Hold on. Okay. Hmm. Under here like this. I'm sorry, I, it's weird, but yeah, I need to like put this in a nice order. Cause this is how. So what? What I just did there. I'm feeling like a certain way. I feel like this here messages for this one. Um, so what I see here that came out after Cornucopia was the attachment card. And if you look at the attachment card, she has like this mask in her hand, like she took this mask off, but she's also chained. She's like chained to like, looks like some freaking like log or some stuff, but she's chained to this and she's just holding up this mask and she's just looking at this mask. So I feel like some of you guys are attached again, like I said, like there's something from the past that you need to let go of in order to move forward. Again, with opening up your heart, moving forward, letting go of what you're attached to in the past in order to have the beautiful, caring connections that are trying to come into your life. That's why I feel like some of you guys definitely are right now, like, honestly. Um, and maybe that's what you guys need to reflect on. What it is that hurt you from the past and why is it still bothering you? Those are answers that only you can find within yourself. And only you can really do that work. All right, let me see. Anything else that comes up? Oh, first chakra, Archangel Michael and Buckham. All right. Well, for the fourth chakra, the heart chakra, let me read up on it for you guys. All right, give you some info on what's not. All right, the heart chakra. All right, the key issues of passion, tenderness, inner child issues, and rejection. Ooh. So some of y'all with this attachment, this could be from your childhood. Um, this could also be like a rejection or a heartbreak, something that has happened recently as well. And, and this could be different for everybody. The inner aspect is unconditional love and compassion. So I feel like with that, like you need to have the unconditional love and compassion for self. Um, is what I heard. And the physical action is circulation. I heard love, love goes around. I don't know. This sounds weird, but that's what I heard. <laughs> the mental action is passion. The spiritual action is devotion. Ooh, I love this. I'm hearing me devoted to your movement forward and the changes that you seek. Okay. All right. All right, let's get back into it. Any more messages for the beautiful earth signs for their love reading tonight? But, oh, gee, fuck. A man holding his heart, but you know what? Darn it. Darn it. Let me look at what fell out for y'all. Ooh! Okay, so now I see what it is. Some of y'all's attachment from the past was a deceitful partner. Mm. Mm. Dirty. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> all married. Dirty. Okay. Well, dirty people. They out there. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. All right. But anyways. Forget them, because there's caring connections coming in. There's also adjacent possibilities. Oh, I love that. We're going to put that right here. Card number 11. Cornucopia. Adjacent possibilities as well coming in. Oh, look at that. You got a man holding a coin. So that's the bunny coming in for some of you guys as well. We have a storm warning. A storm warning. Um, Which is not always bad, honestly. I'm going to throw him down here with this guy. But... I feel like with a storm warning, it's not always bad. And because I've seen that strength card earlier, I feel like you guys will have the strength to move past it. I feel like with the storm warning, there is definitely changes that are coming um, in your life and that you may not be expecting. And this could be good or bad changes, um, either or, depending on where you are in your life right now. 
for some of you, I feel like this is definitely like um, a warning of like, you know, past things resurfacing that may be painful for you to go through. But I feel like ultimately you will have the strength to push through it because there is a lot of happiness coming um, in the future. But you really have to open up your heart to the new possibilities versus being stuck in the past, you know, because there's nothing you can change there. But what I wanted to point out, because with the last three cards that fell out, we have the man holding a coin and the man holding a heart. So this could be you or a potential love interest coming forward. I feel like there is someone who is definitely stable with this coin here. It's like you're you're getting your money stable. You're trying to find how you can build that foundation. But also with the man holding a heart, maybe some of you guys are ready to put your heart out there. But you really need to figure out why you've been holding yourself back in the first place. Um, for some of you guys, I feel like there's just some healing that needs to be done. For some, you've already done the healing and you're ready to move forward towards these beautiful adjacent possibilities, the cornucopia, and also being or having someone come towards you with a very stable offer in love also is how I can look at that, like that stable offer in love. And then lastly, all right, sorry, <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> Oh, this is the sixth chakra archangel metatron bam you know what did not I, I swear i just spoke about this man i did in in the um in the water reading the sacral chakra relationships violence and addictions the physical action is the reproduction inner aspect is feeling the mental action is creativity the emotional action is joy and the spiritual action is enthusiasm so yeah it's the enthusiastic moving forward uh maybe a lot of you guys are definitely focusing on relationships at this time uh, but what you need to do is let go of the past because that's only hindering you from getting to your future okay but if you need to dwell on the past then please just go make sure you're, you're healing yourself make sure that you are doing the work that is needed to get it together and to fix whatever pain that she still has. But she will get through it. She will get through it. Just believe in yourself. Okay? Alright. Let me see what beautiful chakra cards I can pull for you guys. And then I'm going to close it out with some beautiful positive messages from my other deck as well. If you would like to know what decks I use, um, please do check the description box below. Alright, let's get it. Alright, let's get into it. I'm going to shuffle it one more. Ew. Ew, okay. I don't know why, but I'm like getting, excuse me, I'm like getting like a nasty taste in my mouth. Like, maybe you, some of you guys have had a very nasty taste in your mouth from like past experiences. Or, yeah, like, I don't know, like, just so random. Ugh. Ew. Yeah, it's like, it's just very nasty. Ew. Very nasty energy. But I feel like you're walking away from that. Or you're getting over that or something. It's pretty gross. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> okay. Any messages for the beautiful earth signs? For the love reading? Any messages for the earth signs? A miracle? Oh, you guys get this card too. A miracle is definitely coming. Any other messages for the earth signs? You're going on a quest. A journey. Ooh, I like that. The activation. Again, like I said, you, I feel like you're moving forward. I don't know why I kept saying that, but you're definitely going on a journey. All right, so there's definitely going to be a miracle happening with Charles. So going on a quest. Any other messages? Ooh, service and discovery. Ooh, I fucking love it. I'm sorry. Excuse my language. <laughs> and then that is the facade. All right, so let me see. We have your miracle. Service, discovery, and quest. Ooh! Okay, okay. Mm. I feel like, so what I'm getting with these last four cards here is like, there's definitely a miracle that is about to take place. God is definitely blessing you with something big, beautiful, and just unexpected. Unexpected for sure. Unexpectedly. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys need to work on servicing others. Maybe at this time some of you guys are servicing other people or you work with servicing other people. Um, and if you do, thank you so much for being out here doing all this hard work. Please stay safe through this time. 
Um, but definitely, I feel like a lot of you guys are maybe helping people or thinking about helping people. Help if you can, but also try to stay safe and remain home as well as what I just heard. Just because, we, you know, we just want to yeah, keeping things under wraps right about now. Um, with this discovery card, I feel like there's things within yourself that you're going to discover, even about love. As you see here on this beautiful discovery card, this person has a huge heart and that's all you really see. This is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Looks like they're talking to God or something. Like, they hire self. Like, they're being enlightened, I feel like. For sure. That's beautiful. And then the quest card being the last one. You're definitely going on a journey this year. A journey. Ooh, I heard of enlightenment. That's some deep shit. Y'all going somewhere deep. I like it. <laughs> I like it. I definitely like it. Go ahead and shuffle this one more time. And then I'm going to pull a couple of cards to you guys. All right. And thank you all for being with me tonight. If you guys want a personal reading with me, um, please do go to review.com. And also check out the description box below. Any of my social media links are in there for you guys. Um, as well as my website and also my other website where I'm selling some t-shirts. You know, if you guys are interested, check them out. <laughs> and the descriptions on these lovely cards are below as well all right let's get thank you god so much for all these beautiful messages that have come through tonight please help me to pull two cards for them oh the universe works fast and i'm having fun it surely does i mean i swear i've been losing the track of time doing these readings sometimes i'm like oh it's been 10 minutes and then 20 minutes later i'm like damn that's how long that was shoot shoot and I, but you know having fun you don't really notice. <laughs> All right. Any other messages for them? Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, I love it. I am the loving energy of the universe. Ooh, have fun and just embrace that loving energy that is all around you, from the universe, from those around you as well. All right. Well, that has been your beautiful love reading. Thank you.